Hello to everybody, how you doing? Welcome to the Sim Hanger. my name's Mark and let's get started. For any of you that have jumped into the initial beta of Sim Update 4, you'll be aware that when you're in VR, you can't use the mouse. It's become invisible. In this video, I'll show you a quick fix. Till such time that a Sobo patches it. For those using wireless VR and virtual desktop, and also for those using DisplayPort connected to the PC via a cable. But the long and the short of it, turn your controllers off. We'll start by having a look at Virtual Desktop and Wireless VR for headsets such as Pico, Quest and Play for Dreams. Here we are in Virtual Desktop, let's bring up the menu and we're looking for the Streaming tab. Then have a look at the items listed on the right hand side and there you will see an item Track Controllers and that is enabled by default. Click the box with the tick in, you get a warning that your controllers won't appear in VR games. Click Yes. And now when you jump into full VR mode, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, your controllers will be off by default and your mouse will be enabled. Let's jump into Sim and give it a quick test. We're in virtual desktop, but not in VR. I have access to my controller and my mouse. I'm going to click Fly Now and now Control Tab or your selected shortcut to enter into full VR. My controllers are disabled and voila, my mouse is now active just as it would normally be. This means you can either use controllers or mouse, not both simultaneously, although most simmers I'm aware just use the mouse. But this is a workaround until such time as a Sobo produces a patch. When you exit VR, back to your virtual desktop, of course your controllers are active once again. Let's now turn our attention to DisplayPort headsets. In this example, I'm gonna be using the Pimax Crystal Super. For Pimax Crystal headsets, if you go to Pimax Play, then select Devices and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see you have the option to select Controllerless Mode. This will disable both your controllers, but subsequently navigating is a bit of a hassle using the Volume Control. But it's an option there if you want it. Here's a simpler method, Spawn at an Airport. As you can see, both my controllers are active at the moment. My mouse is not functioning, in fact it's hidden. So now what I'm going to do is simply turn off my controllers and I can do this manually. First I'm going to turn off my right controller by pressing the Pimax button and holding that down and it's gone. For those of you not sure, let me demonstrate quickly. You can switch on the controller by pressing the Pimax Pi button. That's it there. And a green light is displayed. To turn it off, press the button and hold it down for about 8 seconds or so. Then release the button. The red light will flash and then it will vibrate and your controller's off. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for my left hand controller. I get a warning that my device is disconnected. Yes, I know that. But now both controllers are disabled. Here is my mouse. In the recording, it's also recorded the overlay mouse. Please ignore that. There's only one mouse actually in the VR view, as is normal. And your mouse functionality is back in full with switches, dials, gauges and so on. Functionality of the mouse is exactly the same as it was previously. Again, just a note, the double mouse that you're seeing is only in the recording, not visible in the headset. So if you can't use your mouse in VR, switch both controllers off or disable them and you'll get your mouse back. As always, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found it useful and helpful. See you soon. Ciao for now.